couple of the dads at my kids' school offered to uh, to tap in with with Legend and do some, you know, sports and give him that male masculine energy um, that boys need. Oh yeah, you're a deadbeat. Yo, I know about real deadbeats, and this situation is all about control. What's up guys, it's your girl River and I am back again with another video. So recently, we already know all of the foolishness that has commenced between the um, Erica Mena and Safari situation in which, you know, she had constantly come on the internet and um, basically berated her ex-husband slash the, the father of her children. You know, any chance that she got, anytime he looked like he was having any fun, we would always see her come on the internet and have something to say um, about him and his parenting skills. Before you guys get scammed like I did <laughs> by this waste man overnight wannabe prophet. Then fast forward to recently, you know, for the first time ever since their um, very messy public TV breakup, um, Safari actually took it upon himself to speak about um, their entire breakup and their entire situation in which he included home footage of her doing um, unthinkable things. Oh yeah, you're a deadbeat. Yo, I know about real deadbeats and this situation is all about control. This woman texts a naked picture of me to my mother and my sister because she wanted to let them know that, oh, you, you and your, your son, I'm pretty sure your son's not telling you what's really going on between us and all of this other nonsense. Now, after the home tapes were released and, you know, it, it got, it went out to the public, basically, it was showing her in the light that I'm sure she did not want to be seen in, especially in front of her children. And then she did a video in which she basically was trying to do damage control and say, um, well, basically, he started it and it's his fault that I acted that way. So I just had to come on here and just thank everybody who's been reaching out to me. Um, I actually have been so overwhelmed in the last 48 hours with the people who have been reaching out for me um, in the industry alone. Artists, actors, actresses, producers, directors, um, head executives at these networks um, who are seeing through you know, it all, um, you guys have actually been key in just getting me through this mayhem. It's a very unfortunate situation, um, but obviously, you know, it's very common. Um, and, you know, it hasn't been easy dealing with this for the amount of time I've been dealing with it. Um, it's not easy dealing with a non-confrontational situation that starts a lot of confrontation because they know they can violate, disrespect, provoke just to get a reaction out of you. So it has been a lot. And this actually goes outside of industry. I have a lot of women and men who are pouring their heart out to me, um, showing me, you know, a couple of them have actually showed me videos and stuff that was put out on their behalf um, and gave me the backstory on what caused their reaction to what was put out there. But, you know, it's actually very common, um, unfortunately, where you get caught up with certain situations um, that use your, your real devoted, genuine feelings against you. Um, they play the mind games. They, you know take it there where they disrespect you, they violate you, they provoke you, cause you to, you know, rage. And then when you finally react, you know, it's hide hands, they're innocent. That's just kind of, you know, how they want things to be perceived, which is fine. But this is actually more common, unfortunately, than I even thought. Now, most recently, 
Erica Mena actually went on to her social media and she decided to um, basically talk about how happy she is and the space that she's in as well as some other things um, that we're going to go ahead and get into. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and press play and then I'm going to give you guys my thoughts, my feelings, my opinions on this situation. The amount of people who have stopped me in the last, what, week, this whole week, and the love uh, that I'm feeling and I'm receiving from y'all, wow. I, I, I get noticed, you know? But now more than ever, it's like I'm getting noticed and you guys, your stories, your love, the hugs. Oh my God, this one lady um, at this restaurant I just sat and had breakfast in, just literally um, came over and the conversation we just had, um, just know that I accept it. I feel it. I love y'all. Um, yeah. So before we get any deeper into this, the first thing I'm going to say is that, you know, I'm not going to, I obviously know that both of them have a fan base, right? Erica Mena has her fan base as well as Safari has his fan base. But one thing that I, I know to be true is that, um, Erica is in the space of, again, damage control. And so she's always going to kind of add a little fluff to the situation but i also think that it's important to note that you know the women who are uh seeing the foolishness that are, that is unfolding and they are uh siding with her ultimately you know they don't need to hear his side of the story they don't want to hear his side of the story and there's a lot of women who attach their own personal traumas to situations when that's not actually how the situation unfolded for this person right so you'll have a woman who maybe she was in a tox toxic tumultuous situation with a man who clearly and evidently you know did not want to be a father and she will correlate that her and erica mena are going through the same thing and so she's going to approach her with the same energy of like girl i understand what you're going through because i went through the same thing when we heard safari within the conversation saying that he wants to be a father right what he doesn't want is the toxicity or the drama and so that's something that I think a lot of women have to be able to differentiate and because a lot of women are um you know more keen on coddling themselves it's a lot harder for women to see through things and understand that you know in this level of understanding I need to kind of sift through what people are saying to me because their situation is not my situation yeah and um it's a damn good feeling to know um that real people know what's up and um you guys stopping me even so yeah you guys stopping me yesterday we went to the jamaican restaurant donna's by you know where i live and um the whole barber shop next door came out and um the love y'all showed my kids big up to the fellas I think that this is important to note. Very, 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 very crucial piece of information. So she said that she went to a Jamaican restaurant near her house and she took her kids there and there were barbers in the barbershop next door and all of them, um, you know, came there and were uh, showing love to her children. I think this is a very vital piece of information and the reason why is because the whole reason why that the Jamaican restaurant or the people in the Jamaican restaurant in the barbershop next door, which I'm assuming is also Jamaican, the reason why you gain that support is because of who those children's father is. Because Safari is Jamaican. So him having a name and, um, and, and you know, walking around basically as the banner with a Jamaican flag flying every chance that he gets representing their country this is why when they see his children, they're going to react in a certain way, treat you a certain way and maneuver in a certain way. It's out of support for him. It's out of support for him. And I think that that's important to be mentioned because there's a lot of women who will try to chastise, disrespect or drag the father of their children. But especially when it's in a public uh, space, there are people who are looking out for you and for his kids when he's not even in the vicinity just based off of their respect for him alone. 
Ironically, you will have these same women constantly disrespect him, not realizing that the covering from that same man is still around even when he's not. Just think about that. Um, in that barbershop yesterday, um, yeah, just, just thank you. Like I, like I said, I get noticed, but this whole week has been intense with the amount of people who have been stopping me. And I, I live, you know, you know, in a little snooty kind of area. Um, so just to see all walks of life, races, um, men, women, like embrace me and feel me and send in their love and, 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 and showing respect. And um, I, I just had to, to take a second, you know, to acknowledge that because it's been so real. I want to say this, right? I just think it's important that we hold women to the same standard that we hold men. If the video footage had been released and it was the opposite way around, if it was Safari who was acting irate, who was stopping Erica Mena from leaving the house, breaking up stuff in her house in front of his kids, you know, would he be getting love, support, and admiration from the community outside? No, he wouldn't. Nobody would want to hear his point of view. Nobody would want to hear his stance. Nobody would, you know, be in his, uh, in, you know, backing his conversation and saying, oh, you know, uh, we understand she's trying to flip the narrative. Obviously, what does she do to make you act like that? Like, there would never be that part of the conversation. It would 100% be he's wrong, lock him up, throw, throw away the key. And I think that it's important that we hold women to that same standard because there's so many men who are in relationships who literally get beat up. <laughs> right? Rick, abused. And people brush it off and support the woman in the situation and say, girl, I would have did worse. It's toxic. Thank you. What was also dope for me is um, a couple of the dads at my kid's school offered to uh, to tap in with, with Legend um, and do some, you know, sports and give him that male masculine energy um that boys need now this is the point i've been wanting to get to <laughs> okay this is a part of the conversation that i wanted to get to now listen to me very carefully safari <laughs> you listen the, the, the sad part about this situation is that the, when the kids are so young and, and especially in the middle of this situation, it just leads to more levels of toxicity, right? It leads to more issues and more problems, but it's a longer span that you kind of have to deal with the problems too. Like there's so many different phases when they're so young that if they don't get it together, that they're going to have to deal with all the way until these kids are big and grown, right? That's just the truth. The problem is, is that you see, when women are vindictive, and I don't care what anybody says, okay? Most of the time that women act this way when the relationships do not work out, it's because they want to be with the man. And I will say this. Had I not involved producers in my marriage, I probably would kind of still be married. Mm. I don't care what anybody says. You have women who cannot stand their baby daddy, but they don't talk about him. They don't disrespect him. They don't get in the middle of the relationship with him and his children. They don't try to, you know, um, erase him out of his out of their children's lives. They don't get on internet and bash them because they are this this um, they're removed from the situation and they don't feel the need to constantly disrespect him or talk about him in any negative way because they're over it. I gotta sit back and watch my kids literally suffer already as it is because you're their dad right it didn't work out maybe he was trifling maybe she was trifling whatever the situation was they move on and because they move on and elevate from the situation they have no need to sit here and, and divulge and do these vindictive things now people would say well i don't understand what you mean river or what is vindictive vindictive about the conversation you see when a when a legend the name that she mentioned is their son's name you see when a man has a son and the woman is blatantly talking about oh you know the dads at the son's school are going to give him that masculine role oh you know he's they're going to put him in sports and they're going to give him the masculine energy that he needs a couple of the dads at my kid's school offered to uh 
to tap in with with legend um and do some you know sports and give him that male masculine energy um that boys need that is going straight for the jugular because she can't fi physically punch him in his face <laughs> Because she can't physically, you know, hit him with a two-piece. And because she knows that anything that she does personally is not going to affect him because he does not want to be in a relationship with her, she is going to use the kids. Bottom line. Okay, what I do doesn't work. Okay, he don't want to be with me anymore. Okay, if I get in, in a relationship with a man and I flaunt it, that's not going to change, um, you know, how he deals with me. He doesn't care what I do. I know what's next on my list. I'm going to use his kids. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if she even get into a relationship and she had the son calling somebody else daddy. I'm going to be real because that's the level of love that these women are willing to stoop to because of their anger, their vindictive nature, because they're so upset about, again, the fact that the relationship did not turn out the way that they thought it should. If y'all don't believe me, I'm sure in the comment section you guys will see there are, there are men who have gone through this situation who are going to say, yeah, Riva, you know exactly what you're talking about. I promise you, the same way that there is some kind of like feminist handbook, there has to be some kind of like vindictive nature baby mama handbook somewhere. And only certain women got the copy. <laughs> okay? But they follow it to a T. And it's sad because, again, the kids are like the collateral damage. They're innocent in the situation. They don't know. They don't know if, you know, mommy is telling me that I should go with this person, that I should really go with this person, or if I should, you know, cry and say I want my daddy and I don't know this person. They don't know. They're just so trusting. And these women are able to, you know, manipulate situations and make it seem like they're not doing anything wrong. The same thing that she said he does which is cause the conflict and hide her hand. They play the mind games. They, you know, take it there where they disrespect you. They violate you. They provoke you, cause you to, you know, rage. And then when you finally react, you know, it's hide hands. They're innocent. You introducing men into your son's life when he already has a father who lives in the same state with you is foolishness. It's doing the same thing. The tit for tat thing. The only person that you're hurting in the entire situation is the kids because you, Safari is a grown man. You're a grown woman. The only people who are going to be suffering is the kids. And if you truly don't want that, that situation, then you have to take your feelings to the side. You mentioned it on social media, talking about, oh, yeah, the men who are going to do this. You should have been like, that's foolishness. Okay, did I tell you that my kids need a dad? <laughs> did I tell you that just because you see what's on, going on social media that I need you to come pick up my son? Because, you know, real recognizing real would know that men use that as an opportunity. Any man who's walking around putting down another man is because he want to get in them draws. Okay, I'm just being, I can't say it any other way, y'all. I can't say it any other way. I just got to be honest with you. So, you know, it takes a village, y'all. And ugly circumstances, you know, we we can't um, we can't do nothing with it but grow from it, learn from it, and um, make the best of it. And like I said, it is it's been a game changer um, to know that a lot of you that have been stopping me, embracing me, <sighs> sending your love to me, um, I accept it. So, thank y'all because we all humans shit happens in life ugly circumstances are out of our control but it's all about making it better um i disagree respectfully i disagree that sometimes that the ugly circumstances are out of your control especially when you are a key player in the ugly circumstance okay and again accountability is so necessary and Another thing, the reason why it's so important for women to understand why they have to be accountable for their actions and not place blame. Accountability doesn't look like, oh, well, you know, I only did this because this person triggered me. And so because they triggered me, that's why I moved in this way. And if they never did that, then this would have never happened. No, accountability looks like regardless of any situation, I should not have done this full stop, period. 
regardless of what happened, regardless of what they said, I should not have reacted in this way. I should not have done this. I'm taking responsibility for what I did, regardless of whatever the situation was. People might have excuses for me. People might say that my feelings were valid. Whatever it is, I want to take ownership of what I did and evolve and grow from that situation. The reason why it's so vital for women to do that is because that is um, the step between your pivotal growth and you being able to move on and move forward effectively and you being stuck in dating or attracting the same exact situation in, with a different face. It's the truth. If you have some things inside of you that you suppress and it, it only goes through the, the um, representative phase and then once you get into a real relationship, these toxic things comes out, you have to work through it. You got to fix it. And then also, you know, what she said about uh, the, the situation getting better or whatever the case is, you know, what would really work in that situation is finding a way to uh, communicate with, with one another. I'm going to be honest. I know a lot of women don't think this is foolish, so I think I'm crazy, but you guys will be surprised how far an apology goes. And again, if you have your own ownership and your own accountability and you say, you know what, I'm just going to take, take ownership of what I did in the situation. You call that man or you send that man an apology and say, listen, I saw my actions. I was tripping the past couple of years. I know whatever the situation was, I want to let you know that I'm done with the games. I'm done with the foolishness. I apologize to you. What I'm saying is, that was your husband? Yeah. So you can't say you got enablers and this and that. You know how to maneuver how you need to maneuver. That goes a long way. That opens the doors of peace and unity. Because you're putting your armor down. You see, you can't say you want peace and unity, but you still got your dukes up. Like, you still want to square up. You have to put your armor down. That's why you're a woman. That's what we're there for. We're not there to be putting our dukes up, swinging and fighting. That's, a, that's the masculine traits. The feminine traits is like, hold on, baby. <laughs> hold up. Let's talk about this. I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sincere. I, I really want to make this better. I really want our kids to be able to have peace between one another. I really want to get this right. I really do apologize. What can I do to assist you so that we can make this situation better for them? A lot of women are not willing to do that because they're not willing to drop the ego. They're not willing. They'd rather not, if we're being honest. And what's so interesting is that most of the time, the ego is what ruined the relationship. If, again, we're being honest, they, they took the ego instead of the humility in the relationship, and that's why it didn't work out. We have to be truthful. I'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I would love to hear you guys' opinions on this entire conversation. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you.